So today's adventure, up front there, Andrew, is where all the saplings we gotta cut out. So we're gonna try and get this 35 pickup frame and bed that's hidden back here, my friend Carl's place. We gotta get all this stuff out of the way and all of this, so we're gonna see what we find. Go ahead, Lumberjack. <laughs> brakes on it. out of the bed we're we'll putting in a seal just for now to get the stuff out of the weather we'll go through it all later some of that might be just so I'll take the whole thing off my cardboard and oh, Mystery bin here. The one dollar bin. Yeah. I didn't see anything I couldn't live without yet. probably have to pull it a little bit to get those out of the rut before we can at least yeah. turn the wheels, right? 
I see. I'm guessing. Or is the steering column off? Which it could be. There's no key in it, so it could be locked. Um, I mean, I could get up there. Pull it that way, and it'll just drag the wheels even if they're turned yeah. wrong, just to get it out somewhere. All right, yeah. so I'll move and get some. Watch it just drag it. This, I problem. could probably rehook and pull that way and we'll just drag it out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that I was think easy. The, I think the steering or this is locked. I think so too. I mean so we could either we knock could either take loose. knock that yeah. loose real quick. Take the cats on that off and then that would probably make our lives easier. That yeah. probably would. There's I'm, probably a uh, or isn't there a, a cotter pin in there anymore? Doesn't even look like it. Doesn't look like it. Oh geez. This is stage three out There's here. There's no with way. The coil, yeah. like spraying it up a couple days ago, or what? Not sponsored. It's finger. <laughs> it's finger tight. Yeah, this this was definitely staged. Yeah. No, uh, no, no Matt is just the strongest man on the earth. That's yeah, nice. Right. A little bit. It almost looks like the oh, the column's freaking loose. You can almost take the column off if we can. You want me to pop it? Well, we can try it. I think it's my best. Probably got a hit on the. Probably yeah, has to come with And Shop hammers. It. Yeah, usually a hammer is with you. Gotta use. Um, I'll check. He's got a hammer somewhere. It's just a matter of. If you want to uh, look for the hammer, otherwise I can. Yeah, I think I'm just. Nothing. I thought it might, but that's a little primitive. Just whacking it with a pipe. Get in. Yes. Yeah. All right. Oil on my Google. Now we got a frame. That's good to go to a new home. It's got juice brakes. Torque tube is all there. This is all there. Steering and everything. It's got juice brakes in the front. Pretty much ready to go. Plop your hot rod on it and. Bigger. All right, so here's a. Uh, Could have been chainsaw size trees. Yeah. Old school juice brake conversion Carl did probably back in the 60s or 70s, but you got just brackets 
welded in with the master cylinder and made it all work with the original pedal setup. So it worked. He daily drove this thing for years, so just uh, might want to be redone before we before somebody puts it back on the road. And here's the uh, the hole. <laughs> you can see it's sunken. All right, so bed's gone. Now we have a frame. If anybody out there in YouTube land wants a affordable 35 frame, 35, 36 frame, it's got the rear with the uh, radius rods, the good radius rods in the back with the spring hangers, juice brakes, all that good stuff. It's got a little bit of rust, which we'll drop photos in. Uh, get in touch with me and uh, come get it, make it leave. We'll make the price good and have fun doing it. So that's all we have for this one. Thanks guys for following along as always. We do videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. If you're not subscribing, subscribe because you're up otherwise. Thanks guys. Catch you later.